Hello and welcome back. Today we're getting through some more world coins, coins that have kindly been sent into my PO box. So a big thank you to everyone that has sent coins in. Uh, for those that have, they get popped off to the side and eventually we work through them on one of these Sunday world coin hunt videos. Firstly, then we'll look at Numista. Numista is the website I use to log my coin collection on. Uh, I also get all the details from the annotations for these videos from Numista. And as ever, I'm not sponsored or incentivized to, use, in, incentivized to send you across to Numista. It's just an invaluable tool I've been using for many, many years and I would highly recommend you gave it a go. Um, we'll return to the screenshot at the end of the video, but for the time being, let's look at some coins. So we've got a whole bunch of coins from Stuart E. Uh, there might be enough to get through the whole video. Um, we'll start with this one's from Papua New Guinea, which is very cool, 2010. Um, oh, what is the denomination in Papua New Guinea? Uh, was it Toa? Oh, I'm going to kick myself when I go to edit this video, and if it's not Toa, and it's something else. But no, I do like animals on coins, so that's a plus. Very, very nice. And I was mentioned I keep saying coins are very, very cool. Very, very cool coins. So I'm going to try my best not to say that today. Um, but we're staying in Papua New Guinea, 2006, with another 20, possibly Toa? Maybe not? Whatever the denomination is. I don't have many coins from Papua New Guinea, so that's pretty cool. Um, oh, I said cool. Uh, whatever. Anyway, United Arab Emirates. We have one uh, Phil or Dirham. Phil, I think. Yeah, I think this is a Phil. It's a little coffee pot there. That's the date. I'll have to pop that into my date converter. Uh, I think there is a link in the description to the date converter I use to work out what uh, year that is in our calendar. Very nice. We're going to Malaysia. So this is a little bit battered. This has obviously seen some heavy use in circulation. 2008 20 sen. Uh, it's a nice little design they have on the, the back of these coins. It's sort of uh, local items. And there's a whole series of them which is makes for very nice designs. But no, that one has seen better days. And then, ooh. I think this is Japanese, isn't it? Yeah, so 100 yen, I think. Uh, is that 1952, maybe? Could be. It's an int I like the uh, the font used in the denomination there. It reminds me of the sort of South Korean 101. But that's nice. Uh, we have another one of these, 20 towers. Possibly towers. <laughs> Papua New Guinea, this one's from 2005, so that's building up the day run, isn't it? Awesome stuff. Uh, we have a bimetallic coin. Um, I think. Oh, I was going to say something there. It's 2002. Hmm. I think it's Moroccan. With that coat of arms, I think it is Moroccan. Um, what's the denomination in Morocco then? It was. Is it? No, it's Tunisia's Milims. I, I just can't remember. Again, Morocco is a country I get from time to time, and every time it comes up, I'm like, what was the denomination again? Dirhams? Something like that? Yeah, it's nice. It's a bimetallic coin, which is uh, interesting. I always like finding bimetallic coins. Uh, another Papua New Guinea 20 thingy, what's it? It might be. T I think Toa is right. 2009 on this one. Awesome. Okay. Going back to what I think is Morocco. Uh, 2002. I've been to Morocco once when I was much younger. Um can't recall what the year or well, well, what the denomination is. I want to say Santa Mat, but I think that's Egypt, isn't it? Or was Egypt? Oh, dearie dear. dear. Let's just to show how bad my memory is. Uh, I think we're going back to Japan here. Interesting coin. Be 50 uh, yen. It's got 13 in the bottom, so it might be 2013. So coins with holes in are quite interesting because in the UK we don't have that kind of uh, 
coins with holes in it so it's pretty neat uh, back to Japan oh I can't remember what the denomination of this was 50 yen maybe 10 yen not sure but now again we've got the date there which if I plug it into my little date converter will spit out a date make it nice and easy to find it on new mister uh, back to Papua New Guinea another 20 tower it's not so I'm really going to be embarrassed I've got that wrong for so much but no, all these that's what uh, the sixth no fifth fifth coin from Papua New Guinea this is the sixth back coin from Papua New Guinea 2006 this must be like the, the whole date run done very nice Ooh, that's kind of neat um, five somethings I don't recognize the script on the outer part of the coin. Oh, this is, is it uh, Taiwan? I think. I think that's what this one is. That, this portrait. I think it's Taiwan. I'm not 100% sure on that. This script on the outer part of the coin is throwing me a little bit. But otherwise, that's a pretty neat coin. Uh, back to Morocco. I think it's Morocco at least half of uh, something or other just can't bring it to the front of my brain what the denomination is in Morocco mm, well, there we go no my luck it'll be ages we've had another coin from Morocco and I'll have totally forgotten already going to Papua New Guinea but this is a smaller coin 2005 oh 10 10 tower I think With this cute little uh, critter up in the tree I can't remember what the creature was was it a sloth or something I don't think it was, it doesn't look like one. Hmm. It's a very cute animal, either way. Um, another one, which I think might be Taiwan. Ten something or others. Taiwan used the Taiwanese dollar, but I don't know if this is older than the uh, Taiwanese dollar. Either way. An interesting coin for sure. We've got a few more left of this lot. 100 cents from 1989. I like this border. I've got no idea where this coin is from. I don't think I've seen this before. Ooh. Suriname. Ooh. That's, I don't know if I've got coins from Suriname before, or I might have one from Suriname in the past, but definitely not many, if any. Well, it's not very often that we tick off a new country. We might not have, because I'm starting to think I maybe I do have a coin from Suriname. But don't hold me to that. That could be a new country, which would be very exciting. So there aren't many countries left on my map to fill in. Uh, this is uh, Japan, 10 yen. Very cool sort of temple design on the on this side of the coin. It's hard to tell like, on a foreign coin what's the obverse and reverse it's very easy with UK coins the king or queen uh, is on the obverse I would hazard a guess that that's the obverse and that's the reverse but I could be wrong right so five more coins left to go we've got another biometallic one I think it's Moroccan again oh look at that that's a cool design isn't it I like how this is all like wibbly wobbly wavy it's kind of similar to our new definitive coins in the UK which has that the uh, three C's in pattern on one half of the coin and that sort of great mosque maybe that's a lovely design I really like that is that a little hologram in the middle there well not in the middle at the bottom there security hologram maybe I think it is changing there's a little there's a star that's on the um, it's not on, not on this coin. The little star that's on the coat of arms on the other denominations. I can't tell what it's turning into. But oh, I like that one. Um, oh, look at that. What is this? Ten somethings. There is... Oh, again, security hologram at the top. Look at that. And on the O of the, of, well, the zero of the ten. It's definitely changing from... Is that a feather? 
Ooh, I like that. Oh, there might be another one that's um, from Taiwan. Definitely not a coin that I've seen before. I like that one a lot. That's very interesting. Right, we've got time to wrap up these last three coins from Stuart. Um, this one is oh, it's Malaysia or Singapore. I can never remember which one it is. Malaysia. 10 Sen from 1981. We've got an aluminium Japanese coin. This will be one yen. Again, there's the date. Cool little bit of bamboo on it. And then we wrap off with another one from Malaysia. Have you been to Malaysia? Or, no, Singapore wasn't. Oh no, it was Malaysia. <laughs> See how bad I remember the two countries. Right, 2011, 10 cent. Uh, very cool design on the, I guess this might be the obverse, could be the reverse, not sure. Sort of local um, items. But no, nice coin to wrap off with. And I hope, you, I hope I've done well at not to, to describing every coin as being a cool coin. I've tried my absolute best. It's just very easy to slip back into it. But anyway, the newest front page we'll have a look at now to see how the video affects my collection. I'm not sure if Suriname is a new country or not if it is that's very exciting but anyway it's been fascinating looking through all of these coins so there we go all the coins we've had in today's video i feel like i'm allowed to pick a favorite because it's all coins from one person so i'm not favoring one person over another the ones from papua new guinea were very very nice i, I like the little animals on it the this the taiwanese one as well the one from suriname though I think that's, that's probably got to the lead because it's an interesting country that uh, I definitely don't have many or any coins from. Um, the, the Moroccan one here, the five doody watsits, I did like as well. But this one here um, that might be from Taiwan, I'm not sure. I think it's a, it's, it's a close call between that one and the one from Suriname. So you'll have to let me know in the comments what your favorite coin from today's video has been it's always interesting knowing what coins you guys are liking and why that is there are links in the description of this video as usual across to my coin collecting discord server if you want to come and join that you can also find links to my other social media channels uh, the PO box address if you want to write in to me and of course a link to the Britannia coin company's youtube channel that's the company I work for as my day job so please check them out too all it leads me to do now though is thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins bye